SpaceX continues to prep for Starship's first orbital flight. Another Starlink flock flies to space. Starlink Mobile may be a thing soon. And we finish with today's honorable mention. I'm Kevin, and this is SpaceX in the News. On Wednesday afternoon, SpaceX once again turned its attention to B7.1, resting at the launch site in Starbase, Texas. After the removal of its can-crushing cap, the booster test tank was cryotested. No noticeable failure was observed, so we'll take it as further good news concerning the new designs. That same day, workers were observed integrating shock absorbers to the orbital launch and integration towers Starship and booster catching arms. Further evidence that SpaceX is super serial about possibly attempting a booster catch during the first orbital flight, as outlined to the FCC a few weeks ago. And yesterday, Starship 24 was released from its chains and got to stretch its fins. We're still anticipating its static fire as early as next week. Meanwhile, over at the Cape, the fifth segment of Starship's East Coast Orbital Launch and Integration Tower made its way to Pad 39A from Roberts Road. You may have spotted the tower during Sunday's Starlink launch, which carried 53 satellites to the fourth orbital shell for the 54th Starlink mission. This was the eighth flight for this Falcon 9 first stage booster, making a picture-perfect landing on the autonomous drone ship, a shortfall of Gravitas, bobbing on the Atlantic, and marking six completed missions for the month, five of which were Starlink. PC Magazine reported this week that SpaceX filed an application with the FCC on Monday to inform them of their intentions to expand their Starlink service into the satellite phone market which will probably end up being called Starlink Mobile or something. Instead of utilizing cell towers to transmit data to users' phones, Starlink satellites will be communicating directly to the users themselves. To accomplish this, the company will add a modular payload to its Starlink sats, which will allow them access to the two gigahertz radio band, which is why SpaceX is asking this permission. And as fate would have it, or perhaps deliberate retaliation for going after Starlink's 12 gigahertz spectrum, the two gigahertz band is one that Dish Network is already licensed to use. And now it's time for today's honorable mention. This week, NASA announced new changes to their Mars sample return plan. Originally expected to use two landers, one to retrieve Percy's cache tubes containing Martian rock samples, and the other to launch said tubes to an orbiting spacecraft using a rocket called the Mars Ascent Vehicle, or MAV. The new plan, however, removes some complexity and instead relies on Perseverance bringing the samples directly to the MAV lander which will be equipped with an ESA-made robotic arm so it can retrieve them. And as a backup, the plan also includes sending two Martian helicopters down to the surface with the MAV lander, both modeled after Ingenuity, the time-tested sidekick of time-tested Perseverance, which is why they're going this route. Except these choppos will be slightly larger and have wheels on their legs, as well as their own robotic arms, so they can land, roll over a tube, grab it, and fly it back to the MAV for launch. 12 samples of Mars's surface and atmosphere have already been collected, the Earth Return Orbiter and Sample Retrieval Lander, with helis in tow, are expected to launch fall of 2027 and summer of 2028 respectively. The samples themselves have a shipment arrival date of 2033. Well that's all for this one, but to my fellow Americans be sure to check out the comments below to read an important message from the lawyer wife in regard to the Inflation Reduction Act, formerly known as the Build Back Better Bill, currently making its way through the halls of Congress. It's important because this bill threatens companies like SpaceX and individuals like you, not to mention the entire country. So if you really wish to see humanity succeed on Mars and go beyond, learn what you can do to help kill this bill by reading her words below. But that's all for this one. Thank you so much for tuning in. Until next time, Godspeed. <music>